Hey, I'm John Greaves III on the Final Garage Gym Life. You guys know that I love checking out home gyms, and we have got an especially special one for you guys. Number one, this belongs to a fellow former Marine and someone who I have a lot of respect for, but also because I featured his gym in, in a YouTube short, and people started saying, hey, we want to see this gym, and Jesus was good enough to have us come in here, which is cool because he's in the middle of prepping for IPF Masters Worlds in Mongolia. So I appreciate him taking time. So I want to show this gym to you guys, but first let's check out the shirt of the day. The shirt of the day is the Stacking Days tee. We know that the key to achieving most goals in and out of the gym is just showing up and putting in the work consistently. And every time you wear this tee, you'll get a reminder to keep putting in the work to achieve your goals. This is one of my favorite designs in the Garage and Life store because of the meaning behind it. And I really love the Tetris inspired blocks on the front that make up the logo. The Stacking Days tee comes in size of small to 2X in men's and small to 3XL in ladies. And you can grab the Stacking Days tee by clicking the link below this video to support this channel and wear the freshest home gym merch. Now let's get back to the tour. All right, so that was the shirt of the day. And like all of our home gym merch, you can find out about the shirt of the day by going to the links that are below this video. Check it out. You'll be supporting the channel and you'll be able to get the freshest home gym merch, stuff that'll keep you motivated as you train and keep you looking good when you go out on the town to show off your gains. Hey, Seuss, what's going on, my man? How you doing, John? We've been trying to make this happen for a long, long time. I know you're a busy dude. Globe trotter, they all over the place, training for meets. <laughs> man. <laughs> Y'all don't know, uh, Jesus no. is big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a big deal in, in my small town. Okay. Uh, no, man, the, the reason it's been a while, it, you know, trying to nail this down is uh, it's been it's been a work in progress. The space that you'll see today, it's only been this space since uh, late October of last year. So okay. prior to that, there was other stuff in this room that I was trying to clear out and dedicate it 100% to the gym. So, uh, yeah, I just, if we were going to do a tour, I wanted to do it in its kind of final, uh, iteration. And, uh, I don't think I can get much in here, uh, uh -huh. more, more than what I already have now, but, um, this is still at your house, but you built yep. this on purpose for your gym. And so you have the ability to kind of customize it a little bit more than somebody who, like me, who's training in the garage. So, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. really, really, really proud of the space and, uh, just, it almost brings tears to my eyes when I walk in and, and do my thing in here because it's uh it's it's my space and uh, oh, yeah. it's, it's pretty it's pretty cool it's pretty cool that's the main entrance to the gym. All right, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's pan uh, slowly around. Just check out. I just want to get an idea of the scope of this place. How big is this? How many square feet are are we talking here? Uh, it's seventy four long by twenty three wide, so it's uh it's in the close to fifteen hundred range. Okay. All right. Yeah. Keep on going. Let's. I want to see the whole thing. Uh, nice, nice. Hey, hey, look at that. Jesus is the proud owner of not one but two of our banners. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, man, I, I love, I love what you've done with the walls. How they, how they got you. You know, they're they're very motivated. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff up on the walls to motivate people. Um, and I'm sure that motivates you when you're in there training because everywhere you look, there's something that tells you you know, that you need to be about business when you're in here. Nobody likes being hot. So tell me about that fan. Oh, that's a 12 foot diameter, uh, big ass fan. Um, okay. And that's actually the brand. That's the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the brand yep, name. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, okay. yep. Out of, Kentu out of Kentucky. And okay. uh, there's a couple other big ass uh, items. At the end of this little aisle that you see here uh, okay. is a chiller. So uh, that's another product from big ass fans. But okay. uh, no, this, this, uh, this ceiling fan, it's a it's a it's an eye catcher and uh it, it does the job. Uh, I've been waiting for this one for a while. Okay, so <laughs> the first thing I wanna I wanna look at is the bench that you were working on when we first in that in the video that I most recently posted of you benching. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I see uh, that a lot. Yeah. That's that's the Elite FTS and okay. uh, I I customized it and uh now, is this some, something uh, that they customized for you, or did you have to get some no, aftermarket stuff no, put on no. there? No, I did it all myself afterwards. Uh, with okay. what I do for work, you know, I've got a powder coater lined up. Okay. So I, I took uh, some aluminum uh, sheeting, had that powder coated, uh, mounted it onto the, the bottom of the bench, and then 
all this stuff that you see on the wall, it's vinyl that I custom make on a cricket machine. Okay. So uh, that was a, uh, that was a gift from a buddy of mine, Brian, shout out to Brian. And uh, that allows me to do all this custom work. So okay. uh, on the, on the safeties, you see the, the never quit. That was a, a little something that uh, I yeah. came up with, you know, not nice. spelling it out, but it gets the message across. Oh no, I and, like that. Uh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I customized this thing. The color scheme went great with the bench, you know, the bench's yeah. existing colors already. And uh, yeah. One of the things that I think is really cool about these racks, these are combo racks, and you see them in competitions, uh, specifically the USPA and, of course, in any IPF federations in Powerlifting America. And so um, uh, you, you get to, and then also USAPL. I, what I find is a lot of people get to competitions, especially if they train in a home gym and they have a power rack, they, and then somebody says, hey, go get your rack height. And they don't know how to do that because they've never done it before. But this is also great if you train with multiple people and everybody's using the yep. bench or that's also usable for squats. So go ahead and show everybody how you adjust it. Um, and, and one point that uh, that you missed and it's critical is for myself training by myself and I do a self lift off on bench. Okay. So um, when I do end up at a commercial gym or at a gym that doesn't have a power rack, I cringe those moments. Um you the upright only has maybe two settings where the bar goes up so it's either too low or way too high right. so you know you're you're doing half a press off the upright be, and you're losing your arch. It. you lose just, your position just, yeah yeah you just can't get the positioning so what what John's talking about is the upright has numbers on it so depending on where you are where you want it uh that number is your rack height for the bench and then the other number is uh, a number for the safeties. Um, so the face savers are critical on bench, especially if you're uh, by yourself and at competition. But uh, probably this one here. This lever, this mechanical linkage here, that'll go into this pin here. There's a secondary pin that you would then put at the next height, whatever you're going for. Uh, and then you just come over to the other side and you match, and you match the same. Just that easy, yeah. Just like that, and that could be done with a fully bar, uh, fully loaded bar. Um, yep. You know, you you just want to make sure that the that the collars, the clips are on, or yep. else you are going to dump your weight. But uh, that could be for the bench as well as for the squat. Um, squat is really where it comes into play with different different height. You right. know, on people bench, not so much, but uh, you can really dial in the height of your uprights being that they're only one inch increments so yeah. uh clutch clutch item for for someone that that competes so one of the things that people talk about with getting something like that is they say well they're not 100 percent sure how safe that is because even the manufacturers will say something like you know if this is what you're using you you uh you want to make sure you have spotters in case you have to dump the weight or something like that if you have to train by yourself, have you ever had any issues at all? You know, if, let's say you miss a rep and you're like, all right, I'm going to have to just put the weight down on the safeties uh, in a squat. Have you ever had any problems? When I'm training by myself on squat and the, and I have some doubt, I go into my power rack, my rogue monster rack, uh, okay. just because I'm completely enclosed. But uh, on bench here all day no problem on the, plus i'm not going for something stupid uh yeah. i know i can get it it's either a rep that i'm missing so it's not completely out of control you know right. you have to train within within your within your uh, uh abilities for sure and train smart all right well let's uh you mentioned the your uh you said it's a monster is it a monster light yeah. uh monster no the, the big boy uh that okay, was the well, first item that, that that was the first item that i got all right so how tall is this Oh gosh, uh, nine nine feet. It's okay. it's the tallest. It's the tallest one that they offer. Oh, okay. just for perspective, uh, these are twelve foot ceilings, so oh, okay. that's why okay. everything everything looks kind of small compared okay. to the actual ceiling. There's some, you know, a little bit of debate between pin safeties, flip down safeties, and strap safeties. One thing that a lot of guys who like strap safeties will say is that they like the fact that you can set, like, say, the back of the safety higher than the front and so it yep. helps you like it can roll down what are some things you like about the strap safeties uh the strap safeties the they don't abuse your bars 
I have both the the bar safeties and the straps. Do you have pin safeties or do you have flip down safeties? Uh, pin. So would you typically use the pins if you're doing like an Anderson squat or rack pulls or something like that? The pin squats, the Anderson squat, I would definitely go with uh, the hard pins versus the straps. The okay. straps, I'm only using them if the weight's looking at getting dumped. I love the yeah. weight storage there. Uh, a nice little six that's post custom. rack. That, that's custom. That's custom. Okay. It's It was a six post rack, but the, the storage pins are the regular pins that Rogue sells, but they were long. Because I had bumper plates initially when I first got this rack, but then I oh. went over to, but then when it, when everything kept evolving and I ended up with calibrated pound plates on this rack, um, the pins were way too long gotcha. and I didn't have enough pins. So I cut them down, machined them, customized them, and out of one long pin, I got three pins out of it. Oh, wow. So every weight has a dedicated pin okay so you're not having to unstack anything if you look at the the you other side got on the inside. The yeah little, the little baby ones okay so um yeah and then i found that the 35s which hardly ever get used went all the way down and the 45s are right at waist level instead right. of having to bend down so that 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 was clutch that that uh that worked really really well tell me about your j hook right here that's a ghost uh uh-huh Yep, that's okay. got the. I w I went with the plastic. I'm actually about to place an order for the metal for okay. the metal rollers. Okay. And um, yeah, but those are those are the the ghost roller. The original J ghost. The original ghost are the ones since Rogue uh, got them. Um, I that's actually it. placed this order right after uh Rogue bought them. Okay, okay, because I still see the ghost logo on there. Uh, so oh, I yeah, no, they still, they, st they still keep them as okay. far as I know, they still keep them as that because, uh, because the, uh, the, the, the people want them. They, the that's, name recognition. That, that's, what, that's what, that's what they started with. And, okay. uh, you know, it's, it's a, it's a thing. And I, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Let me back. So go ahead and back up and let me, uh, check out this rack again. Nice. I love that, man. You do, uh, do you do pull-ups on this thing? I'm seeing, I see a little bit of chalk and you have teenagers that train with you too. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I started doing pull-ups, uh, since Pete, uh, who, who I'm working with, with, with my, my programming, Pete my Rubish, coach. Yeah. Yes, Shout out to yes. Pete Rubish. Yeah. What dude. up Pete? Um, really good guy, by the way. Really good oh, yeah. guy. If anyone's 100%. looking at coaching, he, uh, yeah, he's a solid guy. Makes you feel like he's invested really good dude. in your, in your efforts, which is huge. So um, yeah, uh, pull-ups, uh, been making me do weighted pull-ups with a okay. you know, 10 kilo, 15 kilo, 20 kilo plate. Um, I actually just lowered it down. Uh, it was all the way up. It was all the way up because the lat attachment used to be bolted onto here. So, okay. but since I removed the lat attachment and made it independent, um, I would, I, I had free reign to put that bar wherever I wanted. And okay. then my, my girlfriend as well, she, it was a little high for her. Uh, okay. But mainly for me with my hips, um, letting go of the bar and dropping down with a plate loaded on your waist, it, yeah. I'm like, nah, there's no need for it to be, you know, right, nine right. feet up in the air. And for a clarification, uh, Frog, uh, so I'm going to call you Frog for the rest of this time here. Cause that's yeah, I'm how, good with that. Uh, yeah, that's how you introduced yourself to me. But so you've had your hips resurfaced, uh, uh, both hips. Yep. There's a, there's the image right above Franco deadlifting. Rest in peace to Franco. So how long have you been competing in powerlifting, man? Oh, gosh. Because you got some pictures uh, on the wall over there. Are those pictures of you? So, oh, yeah. 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 So the very, very top one, that's from Finland, 1996 uh, Junior World. Nice. So you got me squatting on the upper right, then benching below that, and then uh, my third deadlift. And okay. then above that, uh, that was the medal for the I I got bronze in the deadlift. Nice. I didn't I didn't play I didn't place overall, but I came back with hard work regardless. This is the newest edition. Oh, okay, um, cool. And that's a that's a, a rogue 30 degree uh ISO leg press. And okay. and one interesting thing that I couldn't understand when it first came in okay. is that this here, the pegs that they comes with. 
you can get 45s, but you can't fit a 25. So the huh. I went through it and I went through it in my head and I said, you know what? They made it for tens. Cause if you have 45s on here and yeah. you go from 45 to a 25, that's a that's a that's a big jump. That's 50 pounds all of a sudden. Right, right. So if they do tens, you can go 10, 10, 10, 10, up to 40. And if you want more, then you strip those and then you throw a 45. Four, on. Four, five, that's the only that's the uh, only reasoning that, that I can makes think sense. Of. Okay. It, it does make sense. It does make sense. Uh it's a super nice. Screw. Now those move independently? Yes, and they can lock together as well. Okay, okay. So it, it has a it has a, 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 a locking pin that connects both of them together. There's a little bit of a click and a clack when okay. you connect them, but um if you're pushing pretty evenly, it, it it's not bad. It's not bad. Now one th one thing interesting about this machine is it has these pins here that you adjust. So it's a it's a it's a bottoming out and it's a it's a heavy right. spring. So you can you can place these where you want them versus just the dead the, the, the dead, dead stops stop. on the safeties okay. on the safeties. Okay. So this the, but the thing that's great, but what it uh the, the drawback from that, which might be a positive, is you can't do calf raises here. You can't slip your foot through and just have your toes on it. Okay. Um, so that's that's kind of the drawback. But then again, I've always had a a fear of you slipping and this thing coming right down on your shins. So yeah. maybe okay. it's a <laughs> maybe it's a good thing. If anyone's looking for a speaker for the gym, this Monster Two Seventy is so good, okay. and they call it a two. They call it a two seventy because 270 degrees so it shoots out to the sides and out the front and the nice thing is you can sync it with uh, another speaker so i have that one there and then i have one right on the other side oh uh, nice that, you get the that, surround that, sound that, yep without having the music have to be cranked super high um okay. and then on top of that is you can operate it not plugged into the wall so it does have a battery uh, okay. internal battery and it comes with the microphone nice nice so you can actually do like i'm looking at you know at some point doing a little meet in here you know people lifting you know just having okay. that and then you know and you can have the music going and you can be talking over the music as well okay what brand of dumbbells did you decide on um i went with rep fitness because they had free shipping on them Okay. And uh, it, it the weight gets heavy once you go from you know when you go to five oh, yeah. to a uh, hundred pounds uh, at at five pound increments it gets pretty ridiculous. Uh, so the dumbbells there five to uh, to a hundred. Okay. And uh, these two racks, the only thing is that the the ninety fives and the hundreds uh, don't fit on them, and then the fives don't fit on them as well. So the hundreds are here and the ninety fives are on the other end. Tell me about this rogue yeah. bench, man. I like the little spotter stand it's got on it. It's not something that you usually see on utility benches, but I think that it's always a little bit of a plus because you, let's say you're doing like some sort of, let's say you're doing a shoulder press or something, you can have somebody spot you. I, I really like that. Oh, the platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, the little it, spotter uh, platform. It, it's a tank though, man. It is heavy. It is heavy to move around. Um, so there, um, you can be completely flat on the, on the seat there. That's, okay. uh, that's 30, 30 degree, 45, 60. Um, and that's about, it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, 90 right that's, there. that's 90. I okay. don't know what that, I don't know what that exact degree is there, but it's in between probably 85 ish or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, this is the bench that I started with. Uh, so oh, wow. it was th it, it was it was this bench inside of the power rack uh, nice. is what what the initial setup was. Okay. Um, and so how old it, is that a, bench? It, March of nineteen was the first time that I ordered Rogue items. How has the the cover held up? And how, is it slick or is it does it have a nice grippy surface? It is not slick. It's a uh, it has a slight grip to it, nowhere okay. near the no nowhere near the grip that the Elite FTS has, though. Oh, definitely not. No. Okay. And let's go to let's move on further down. You got a forty-five degree back raise. Yep. Th 
This is a customized. Got, boys, uh, got Pete Rubish's stuff right there. I see that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was actually. Um, so th the reason for that is this piece here. Um, there's some welding and bracketry that happened here because this tube here, this line used to be here. Okay. Okay. So what that did was it limited the, the, the main reason for this, uh, this guy here. Can you see me in the frame? Yeah. 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 Okay. Is for, for, for barbell back, barbell back raises. Right. Okay. So now I can get all the way down here when I'm initially gripping the bar gotcha. before my elbows would be out here. Gotcha, so you yeah. would have to, you would have to prop the whole thing up. And then the limiting factor was the bar actually touching the frame. So okay. I'm like, well, I took this whole thing apart, uh, cut it up, re-welded it. Um, it gave me this kind of boxy situation here. Once again, threw on some aluminum, a uh, little cricket action, and uh, labeled it up. You don't really have an issue with maintaining your weight, maintaining your weight class. In fact, you have an issue sometimes with keeping enough weight on because of your medical condition. So how much do you actually use that treadmill and all that cardio stuff that's back there? It really depends on where, so I'm diabetic. Um, so right now I haven't really taken insulin since late, late June. So okay. I'm, I've, I've leaned out, but uh, uh, yeah, the, the treadmill, it's an incline trainer, uh, a free motion incline right. trainer. This is actually a commercial grade piece of equipment. And that thing goes up to 30 degree incline and it goes up to 15 miles per hour. Gotcha. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a tank. So who uses um, it? Both my boys were uh, cross country runners. Uh, so and okay. I'm, I'm in Sandpoint, Idaho. Uh, the, the winter can be really rough. So they would use it. Uh, some of the kids that come by, they use it as a, as a little cool down or warm up or however they want to use it. The thing about the incline trainer, if you put it at a 10 degree incline and you're at like at two and a half miles an hour, or three miles an hour, it'll challenge you, you know, pretty close to running at a pretty good clip. When it's nice out, you know, uh, do a little circuit of the assault bike, the skier. And I do have the concept to rower okay. standing up. I did, however, just have an issue with this machine. It was down. So basically at the top is like a computer. Yeah. But then down at the bottom, there's some circuitry and there's a, a, an actual motor control board and okay. that thing fried out. So okay. both both the belt motor and the incline motor weren't Jeez. working. The computer showed it working. Like you could adjust the height and the speed and it okay. would register on the screen, but nothing would happen. Okay. So, but so, it's, it's an, it's, so it's, how'd it's, you it's get it fixed? Uh, call, reach out to free motion. I have, okay. uh, I had, I had three years parts and labor. Uh, okay. they came, they, uh, they sent someone out, the, they checked it out. It was like, yep, the motherboard's fried. They ordered it a week and a half later, they were out, they fixed it and done. Nice. Um, are, are we ready for this? <laughs> Man, you have no idea how much that's still – every time I see it, man, I get motivated. <laughs> I still get motivated. Just You are one of only two people that's got the the large ones. Uh, Let's go. Those big ones right there. So, yeah, man, I, I, I can't uh, – I just – you see how – like I'm ta I talk for a living and I can't <laughs> – I, I have no words. So just thank you. Thank you. I appreciate cool, it. Cool, cool, cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, So let's just go right into – The bubblers. Yeah, and, man. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, this is a home gym, but I do have a cricket and I am OCD. So, uh, and then wrong with that. Yep. Got them all labeled up. Uh, uh, at the top was a Texas power bar, but we had it over on the bench to demonstrate okay. the, the adjustments. So okay. below that, uh, Texas squat bar, Texas deadlift bar below that. Okay. Uh, Kabuki deadlift below that. Um, then the Kabuki squat, all Kabuki right. Duffalo. And then the bar below that, that's just a trash around, you know, okay. land, landmine type beater exercises. Bar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just a, just a, a beater bar. Uh, turns out, I think I need a second beater bar because there was, we had a situation where uh, two of us was, were doing things that required a beater bar. Gotcha. So that might be the next thing. So the Kabuki deadlift bar, 
the the reason why that one stands out to me is because I remember when you first used it. <laughs> and I remember you were at uh was that um it was IPO Worlds. Yeah. yeah. IPO Worlds. Yeah. And I was there and that's when I found out they announced and said, Yeah, so we got a special treat for the lifters. You're gonna be the first ones to use the kabuki deadlift bar. And so nobody, there's only two in existence. There's one on this platform, there's one on that platform. And I was like, okay. And the first thing I thought was, I said, okay. I, so I went to Kyle, who was there, Kyle from Kabuki. I walked to him, I said, hey, so tell me about this bar. Uh, how whippy is it? He said, well, it's not whippy. It's just very, he said, it's active. Like you, you'll be able to tell. So then I went to Steve Dennison and I said, hey, so I'm just going to say, if these are the only two deadlift bars of this brand in existence today, uh, at this point, these lifters have never trained with it. They've never felt it. So don't you think you should put one in the warm up room so they can get kind of trained with it a little bit before they at least feel what it feels like before they go out there? You know, yep. so the first time you ever touch it is on your first attempt. And, you know, and that's a big deal when you only get three attempts. So, oh, yeah. I was like, you know, and then by the time, you know, as you know, by the time you get to the deadlift, you're you know, you were in neck and neck battles with Peter's son and with some other guys. So, you know, the deadlift might be the the game changer. You don't want to be experimental. It, 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 it came down to the last step. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, so do you, with all those variables, I was like, it's not right to make them for the, I know all of them are touching it for the first time, but at least make it available in the warm-up room, right? And so uh, I got shot, I got shot down. But I remember coming to you and saying, hey, Look, that's who frog. Go go touch that bar if you can. Get a chance, get a chance to touch that bar to see what it's like. That was that was November, November of 21. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I uh I, I opened up with 250. So it's 551 on an opening deadlift uh conventional, mind you. Yeah. Uh which which actually, yeah. So on that what what happened to me on that one was I started pulling. Yeah. And I felt it moving, and in my head, I was like, "Oh, this feels light." Yeah. So I, I, it just threw me off because it was something I'd never felt. Right. So I started pulling. It felt like it was moving. I relaxed, and then before I knew it, it pulled me back down. The whip caught and you, I, yeah. I, I, I locked it. Uh, no, actually, no. I was going up. I felt that down, and then I just set it down because I knew yeah. I. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that's I, what I'm saying. I, the whip caught yeah. I was, I'm, I'm also, you know, I was also an official in the USPA. Um, so I'm like, I can lock this out all day long. They're still not going to give it to me because yeah. it was clear up and down motion. So yeah. I just set it down, walked back. And I was like, man, what happened? Yeah. And uh, it didn't click until somebody else said something. And I'm like, it's the bar. Yeah. Went out, That's what went I was out. trying to tell you. I was like, man, I'm telling you. And I was like, I can't tell you too much, but look, yeah. for real. Go and yeah. then so I did an interview with Kyle and uh, it's going above my head right now. You guys can see the interview. Just click that link and you can see the interview I did with Kyle. That's actually at IPO Worlds when the Kabuki deadlift bar was revealed and Kyle's telling me all about it. It wasn't even available for sale at the no, time. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. But it wasn't. I remember you said, "Yeah, I'm get. I got to get one of those bars for my because uh, at the time that's where you were competing." Yep. Yep. Um, it's a fun, it's a fun bar. Definitely. Um, I haven't actually pulled with it. Um, uh, wow. 10 months now. Uh, well, been, you're I've training been... for IPF meet though. So you got to do this yes. bar. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I've got the Lico, uh, uh, competition bar and been benching and deadlifting exclusively with that bar. Um, uh, but no, it's, it's, it's a fun bar. The kids love it. Uh, it's got a great, great knurling on it. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 a fun bar, but uh, I I I just don't want to give myself any false hope or oh, false sure, yeah. num false numbers um, on on the deadlift if I'm not going to be able to use it on the platform. Of course, um, of course. Yeah, I, yeah. I do want to know though because you've got a good collection there. You've been training with the Elico. Tell yeah. me how you like the Texas Power Bar versus. The Illico. I mean, Texas is a Texas bar. I mean, yeah. it is what it is. It, it was the 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 pioneer. Um, right. But the Illico is, yeah. It you get what you pay for. It's 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 a it's a great it's a great bar. 
uh, let's say the Aleko is a, a Maybach and the Texas Power Bar, maybe it's uh, just a standard BMW. Because I still think a lot of the Texas Power Bar, like how well, how would you compare it to somebody who's trying to make that that choice if they compete? Go go with the Texas. Go with okay. the Texas Bar. Because okay. it's just a bang for your buck. Um, easy to get your hands on. Uh, it, it'll do what it's supposed to do, and you won't be disappointed. Um, for me, I was looking for something nice. You know, I it just another. It's it's my it's my little bit of bling in the gym, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Um, but being that, uh, I didn't want to be surprised. I didn't want to be surprised on the platform. Um, oh, of course, yeah. So that's, you know, I'm going to be traveling all the way to Mongolia, Mongolia, you know, yeah. and uh, yeah, but actually it was, it was funny the way it worked out. I got the illegal first uh, just to add some stiff bar um, action on the deadlift and then everything happened and I ended up uh, on this pursuit to IPF worlds and uh, now it's coming to fruition. So uh, everything kind of happened for a reason. And it couldn't have happened at a better time. So yeah, yeah. Um, right, right below the beater bar is the Rogue um, Rackable Easy Curl Bar, and and it's longer from this point to this point than right. a regular Easy Curl Bar. So Good. the J cups um, are catching here, and you can load your weight on it, you know, on and off right. and whatnot. And and not before you would have to take it. You would have to take it load your weight and then put it back on the J cup because the J cup was, you know, out here. Right. right so right. yeah, I don't know. It just looks weird. Uh, just from the old school. Easy so long, bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, I, I, I like it. The knurling on it is just, is, is, is just right. It's a 35 pound bar, by the way. Okay. Um, so for those egocentric individuals, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you throw a 45 on there now. And now you're, it's a lot more weight than with, with a regular uh, easy curl bar. Okay. Um, is that an American below, press bar? That one, yeah, the one uh, you were just this, touching. This, yeah, this is this is the Elite FTS uh, American Cambered bar. Okay, okay. How do you like that? Um, I like it. I like it. Um, How's the balance point? Ah, uh, it's 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 okay. Um, okay. You know, it 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 just throws in variety. It doesn't get used all that that much, okay. but um, but it's just another another tool in the toolkit. So, last question about bars: How often are you finding that you have to do any sort of barbell maintenance, taking any of the bars apart, any kind of brushing the bars off, anything like that? I've yet to have to take a bar apart. Okay. Um, I'm in North Idaho. I'm not in you know Florida where it's right. humid or or or, or Atlanta. Yeah. Um, so I'm not dealing with uh, with that with, with those elements. Um, as you mentioned, that whoever deadlifted last did not slate. That's my kid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he didn't brush off the the chalk off of it. But uh, no, for myself, uh, I just make it a point to brush the bar off the chalk. You know, every time that I use it, uh, put okay. it up on the wall, and that's about it. I haven't had to deal much with it. Um, okay. The the Texas Power Bar is getting a little bit of corrosion okay. on the um on the shafts. Okay. I mean on the yeah on the sleeves, but um it's it, it's fine. It's yeah. not not much at all. Not much at all. If you guys are looking for a cable machine, this is is it the, the free motion? The free motion free motion dual cable cross. Yeah. Okay. Tell me yep. about it. Yeah. Oh gosh. So uh, you've got two. You've got two points, two cables. Okay. So you've got a cable up here, and you okay. got a cable up up here as well. And okay. these arms, these arms rotate in and out, and up and down. So if you're there and there, you can actually do. Let me, 23, 23. Um, and the, this machine has a three to one. Okay. Um, ratio of your, 
of the cable pull. Okay. So for every for every um three feet that you pull out, the stack is only moving one foot. So okay. If you come out nine feet of cable pull, that's actually only the stack's only moving three feet. Right. So it has a huge range of motion. So with one footprint, you can actually do this exercise here, which okay. you would only be able to do if you had your traditional two tower uh, right. cable setup, which right. takes up a huge footprint. Okay. You know, um, but no, this is great. It'll rotate. Oh, wow. It'll rotate all the way down. So now you're. Oh, now you're huge. here. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's so, it's so good. Um, before I forget this little guy here from Spud Inc. Hey, shout out to Spud Inc. I, I don't know what they refer to this what the actual description of this is i think spud actually might call it a ham stinger and i'm I'm just double checking yes it's the ham stinger yeah i would not have guessed that but how i use it uh and i was having an issue with my hip flexor you can't do it with shoes on it won't fit okay but you're here and now Okay. And and I'm not holding on to anything. So now it's making you actually balance and do the weight at the same time. But if you're holding on to something, oh wow, that really feels good after deadlifts yesterday. Is yeah. getting that 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 hip flexor. Um but that that was a a, a gold a gold find for me uh for the hip flexor. But great great machine. Um the things that you can do with it is uh just ne never ne never ending and it is smooth the smoothest thing yeah it's a it's a joy it's a joy to you um but it uh it is a commercial grade piece so yeah, i was gonna ask you like uh, how it, big how much space does it take up um well as you see here that's a four by six that's a four by six stall mat. Okay. Um, so the way I set it up was right at the corner of the stall mat, and uh, it 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 works out for uh for my situation. All right. So you got your ghost plates right there. Uh, what? Tell me about those weight trees. Those look a little different. Uh, yeah. Those are those are custom. This is my second generation. Uh. The first generation are the ones that are over by the deadlift platform. Okay. Um, so you yeah, made those no. yourself? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice, nice. Okay. So you've got something um, for the collars right there. Oh, nice. I like that. Yep. But nice and compact. Every every peg has, with that cricket machine, it has the weight on it. So okay. on the top, it's a 0. 0.5, 1.25, nice. and the 5 kilo at the bottom. So nice. each, one is, each one is labeled. Um, so these darn teenagers, when they come by and they don't put them in the right spot, I'm like, come on, oh, guys. God, I, so. yeah, man, <laughs> I completely understand. I like that though. What, what I really love about this is you can put plates on the front and back of it. That's what I really love about this design. And, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. What, what are the uh, dimensions no, no, of it, We're under two feet. What I did have to do is I had to sneak in this little collar, a okay. spacer for the, for the five for the five kilo and for the 10 kilo to be able to get your fingers in to pull. Ah, got you. So I made it, I made it just a tad bit too, too tight, too okay. narrow, um, okay. but it, it, easy fix because it only gets one plate on there. It's not like I need, I okay. need the, I mean, you're not making these to, for sale anyway. They're just ones you made for yourself, but if, uh, correct, correct. I got you. And then if, if I would have done it again, I would have made this just a hair taller just so I can be able to run my, my vacuum, my Dyson underneath the plates. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that was like, oh, but that's okay. an easy fix. I can, I can always space up the, gotcha. the base of it. But. Nice. Okay. All right. So this is your second combo rack right there. And again, you've got multiple people who train with you. So 
Uh, is that why you have two of them, or you just got a a weird combo rack collecting fetish? <laughs> I've got my eyes on you're that Alico. You're you're in a safe um, place. You can tell me the the Rogue is way more robust. Okay. Um, so I I do a lot of my squatting in the in the Rogue, and okay. then I do I do all the benching on the Elite on FTS. the Elite FTS. Yeah. And then you so do like heavy squats. Over in the power rack. Yeah, sketchy, gotcha. sketchy squats on the power rack. Gotcha. Um, and I wanted what, what I wanted was I wanted a squat, bench, and deadlift uh, setup. Gotcha. Dedicate, dedicated setup, and that, and that's oh, that's what that we have sense. here. So we have a, a rogue rhino belt squat. Uh, that's my secondary squat movement of the week. I do it after my heavy deadlift for the week, okay. and I, I I like it. It's good. The carriage on this, uh, it's not 45 pounds. So what I did was I bought some solid steel and I, I, took, I took the cap off and I inserted a piece of steel to where okay. the empty carriage is 45 pounds. Oh, for the so math. Yeah. As, as, yep. As you throw it in, you treat it as a bar. If you got, nice, you know, nice. right, right. You know, he called out 285. I'm like, okay, I'm going to put 275 and uh, fives on it. So. Nice. Yeah, it makes makes a world of difference. So here's the lat pull down. It's a rogue lat pull down. Got the mag grips. It, uh, yeah, yeah, love those things. Those were the hardest things to find because oh, I saw really? them. Okay. At, I I saw them at a commercial gym. Uh, well, as commercial as you can get in a small town. Um, <laughs> and I just recall how good they felt, but I never, it didn't register. The name didn't register. And I was, I didn't have access to that gym anymore. So I did a bunch of internet searching and then finally found them. And okay. now you can find, now you can find knockoff. So super cheap on, on, on oh, Amazon. Yeah, of course, yeah. But, but, but yeah, these mags, they, uh, I, I, I really like them. And then the, the holder on them is luckily for me, uh, with what I do, I have a lot of UHMW uh, drops, fall offs. Um, okay. So this here, I made that, and uh, it allows me to store all of my uh, my attachments. And that plastic is the same type of plastic that Rogue uses on. Okay. You know, you know how they line everything in UHMW. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. to protect. So uh, yeah. So this is this is the lat pull down set up uh i just um uh maybe in the last six months maybe six months ago i i made this uh, upright so it's a t it's a t and okay. it allows me to bolt the lat pull down to it and it made it independent to where before it was attached to the monster rack mm. um it is a 300 pound stack. I don't think I've ever loaded it more than 180. And if I'm doing 180, it's a sloppy set of five. You know, does it go up in 10 uh, pound increments? 10 pound increments, but it has these pegs that you can throw a plate on. So you could throw ah. a five plate on. You could throw a five pound plate on. You can throw whatever plate increments that you want. Nice. Whether you have two and a half, one and a quarters. Nice, um, I like that. So yeah, that, that so that, you don't have to get that, like a gym pin or the no 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 I don't the, or the best still adder weights. Okay, nice. Nope, okay. nope. So I've got this uh th this sauna here, uh, a clear light sauna. It's okay. uh, it's labeled as a three person sauna, but uh, okay. just me me and my girl uh use it. My my girlfriend, my significant other, Irene. Okay. Shout okay. out to her. Okay. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> so yeah, it's trouble. A, it, <laughs> it, infrared sauna. It's a it's a it's a it's a really nice piece. Um, the nice thing about it, John, is if you want to use it like in the morning, but you want it to be at temperature, you can go in and um, hold on. It's got a, a a reserve button, is what they call it. So okay. you hit that reserve button, and you can do it out for say 10 hours from now nice. so uh, a little timer will start 10 hour countdown okay. and then at that point it'll turn itself on okay and pre pre-warm up you know for it to be for it to be ready for you nice um the nice thing is uh it's it's electrical and uh it's a two 240 volt 
uh, okay. single phase, like a 20 amp circuit, which is not an issue because I had equipment in here before. Um, but yeah, all electrical. It's dry, so you're not you're not dealing with the steam and whatnot. Sure, sure. And uh, yeah, it's an it's an infrared infrared uh, sauna and clear light is the is the brand. Okay, so you got this cold plunge here, despite the fact that it is stupid cold in Idaho. I don't understand what you're doing with your paycheck. Tell me about this. <laughs> I don't. All you gotta do is literally walk outside and wait a little bit, and it'll happen naturally. Uh, what are you doing, man? Oh man. Uh, yeah, but you said I got to go outside. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, can't have that. Uh, no, it, it it gets it it gets it gets pretty darn hot in the in the summer. So uh, ah, yeah, okay. just uh, you know, I'm fi I'm 50 years old, John, and it was like, you know what? Let me I I, I drank the Kool Aid, man. I drank the Kool Aid, and I I went down that uh that rabbit hole with the with the cold plunging. So okay, hold up, first up, uh, hold up, because because I just turned 50. <laughs> all right. What happened to you that made you think that getting into a cold tub was like the secret <laughs> to success, right? Because that I turned 50 in uh this month, right? And that hasn't happened for me yet. So is there like was it like <laughs> was it like a month in all of a sudden you found yourself wanting one, two months? Because I need to start preparing myself emotionally for this moment <laughs> so I can get my wife to be like, no, you don't, you don't need it. Okay. What happened? Like, why did you start? Like, seriously, why did you start wanting it? Yeah, it was it was a kind of the discipline aspect of it of, of okay. making yourself uncomfortable, and when you're when you're in it, when you get in it, you're there. You're not. Oh yeah. Your your, <laughs> your your mind isn't really wandering. You know, you're focusing. You're it's controlling your breathing. Um, yeah. Feels feel feels good. Feels good. So. You know, so I, I, just, I like that I just, explanation a little bit better because people always tell me they're like, "Oh man, you don't understand how amazing you feel when 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 you're done." I said, "So you're telling me it feels great when you stop doing that to yourself?" Of course, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know it still feels good when you stop. <laughs> like, that's not that's not a selling point. <laughs> okay, is it hard mm -hmm. to maintain? I mean, uh, how do you? It comes. It it comes with the kit. It okay. comes with extra filters. There's a little uh, circulating motor that um, okay. circulates the water all the okay. time. There's ah, a chiller. Okay. There's a chiller. Okay. Um, and you can see how clear that water is. Yeah, yeah, John, yeah. that is the same water from when I filled it up in November. Okay, okay. Okay. Nice. But okay. Uh, also, with the, with, with the cold... <clears throat> With the cold, it doesn't. It's not like a hot tub that it like wants to like things want to you know breed and grow and whatnot in 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 the warm water. The cold water, it's just it's 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 easier to uh, to keep. So to you're keep telling clean. me even the germs know not to get in there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and yet here we are. But also, I have I have I have strict rules. Is if you're using the cold plunge, go in the shower, wash yourself off, getting gotcha. clean. Gotcha. getting clean so uh no I, I i like it i like it um okay yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do it after uh probably after we finish up okay so. well i don't i don't want to hold you up from that but <laughs> i want to see the rest of the gym um uh yeah let's let's do it oh so here's another this is another uh, one of those fans okay same price yeah, this same, is brand. A, th same, same brand same brand same okay. brand um this is a uh, just so you can get a feel for it how noisy are they that's what i want to know um it's not it's not bad man i'll uh i'll turn this on this is uh and the nice thing about this one is it has a a speed dial it's not like one two three four five it's infinite so from there to oh wow. that's full I mean that's that's a weapon. Wow, yeah, I can see it. Okay, yeah, no, Turn it's uh, they make they make really really good stuff, man. Is uh, got a transformer bar there. Okay, love the transformer bar. Love the transformer bar. Okay. Uh, my shoulders really get uh, beat up doing straight bar. Okay, so and and my bench suffers because of it. Gotcha. So the got that, and then uh, the Elite FTS yoga okay, bar. Yeah, I've got one of those. I love that thing, man. Um, but if you had to pick just one, oh man, because the transformer bar is so versatile. 
Yep. Yep. I'd have to go with the transformer bar okay. because, okay. um, because it, I, it would save my shoulders, but I can still train. So right now, the way I'm using the transformer bar, I'm using it on the high bar setting okay. with the, with the sleeves as close to the, the main shaft as possible, because okay. the farther away you get, it's not, it's not in line anymore. So your right. the, your balance your balance is different. That's so like the front squat way, setting, right? Um, no, I use it on the high bar. So no, no, no. The, I'm saying when you get it further away, it it's like there's no, a front squat no. setting. So this rotates for your different uh, disciplines, basically your high bar, your low bar, your goblet, your front. But okay. then beyond that adjustment, you have the adjustment of where this is away from the shaft. Ah, so, okay. So there's two adjustment settings. It's like, what exercise are you doing? And then are you making it harder or are you making it easier? So being that we're going to not do any uh, straight bar this prep um, to save my elbows and my shoulders, um, I'm I'm using the transformer bar in the setting that most mimics a a regular straight bar. Okay. Um, So – that's why I would go with the transformer bar. The okay. Elite FTS bar, it's great, right. but it's that one setting. Yeah. And if if you say you're using it, but then you want to deadlift a few days later, well, good luck because your back got torched yeah. using the, the FTS bar. So gotcha. um, get both. Gotcha. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, a rogue... GHD. Okay. And uh, I did a little modification and uh, put that swing arm on it to do uh, reverse, reverse hypers. Reverse hypers. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Is uh, that what the steering wheel is for? That I know there's a weight plate. No, the, 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 <laughs> I know there's a no, weight no, plate. No. <laughs> the, the, it just the, looks the, like a the, steering wheel. Uh, mutt, mutt wheels. Uh, no, actually, I did not re rack that because I can do that. It's my gym. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I did a. Uh, I did weighted uh, GHD setups yesterday. Gotcha, gotcha. So it was uh, two sets with the 45-pound plate. Um, okay. Yep. And then uh, this is a, a new a new addition as well. I've only had this for uh, a couple months. And it's uh, it's a body core leg extension leg, uh, oh, hamstring nice. curl. Okay. Yep. Uh, smooth machine. So with the cricket, again – Threw up, what am I working towards? I'm working towards that IPF World Masters Championship right on the board that I use every time that I'm on this station. The other station has uh, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia written on it because that's, okay. that's that's where it's going to happen. Uh, and that's how yeah, many days love, you have uh, left? 45, yep. That's the countdown. So today's nice. 45. Every, every day, wake up, come in here, change the number. Um, nice. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. I got I to gotta show up. Um Right down here is a custom uh, box squat that I made, okay. and that is an that's that's the ab mat box squat pad. Okay. Uh, love that thing, love it. It is a great pad. Bought that and then built the stand uh, around that. So yes. the the stand is adjustable in one inch increments. It goes okay. as low as 50, fifteen inches, and then I think I it can go like to twenty one inches or something. Chalk bowl. That, like is that. Do- that is a that is a a little brute dolly, a brute trash can dolly from um, <laughs> from Home Depot. Uh, machined out a a plate at the bottom, a little shaft, and then uh, I don't know where that pan is from. Maybe the co op or something. But it could uh, be anything. I've seen oh, guys yeah, use like a salad bowl. It could be yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. But like uh, that. there's that, and then this is the first generation of a uh, weight tree okay and uh this one actually has uh has wheels on okay. the back so you can you, i used to have to move them like a wheelbarrow gotcha. um, when i had my when when the space wasn't dedicated well, small okay yeah yep yep okay um, and you got some more bars over there Are those the beta bars no no actually this is the <laughs> This is the lock and key. Um, so I can actually do this. Oh, these? Here. Okay, these. 
Okay. No, nah, so so when I'm out of town and the kids are coming by, I can do this. You don't even let them play with it. You're like, nope. Here and boom. And it's like, guys, you have you have that whole collection to work out with, which okay. is better than any bars in town. Yeah. These are my ba- these are my babies. These so this is the this is the Alico uh power bar. This is the Kabuki power bar, which okay. is a, a sweet bar as well. And then this is just uh a kabuki deadlift bar in the red and black. Okay. Just uh just for just for bling. I think that and, is hilarious. Uh, He's got a lock. He said, when I'm out of town, these daddy locks up his stuff. <laughs> yep. 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 My friend made this piece for me. Wow. And okay. it's a plaque and it's got open power lifting on it. Okay. It's got my name on it. And then it's got it, it's lasered in squat, bench, and deadlift. This is dry erase material okay. here. Yeah. So the number on top is what my my PR, and the one on the bottom is my goal. So just a little custom piece up nice. there that, I like uh, that. A, a, a friend made for me. Yeah. Hey, you're so, knocking uh, on those numbers though, man. Like you might get them in Mongolia. Who knows? Oh, ooh. That'd be that'd, be that'd be that'd be that'd be a good day. That'd be a good day. You'd be day, insufferable, sure. probably. You wouldn't even be no, I could even deal with you all the way back home <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> you, oh you'd be man. like old people with their grandkids. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then a dedicated deadlift platform. Because uh of course why uh why not? Although my my dog uses the band pegs as a pillow. Wow. It's his favorite spot to hang out. He comes and he, he lays down on the deadlift platform. It is absolutely wow. hilarious. All right, my man. Uh, I appreciate the chance to check out this gym. You got an awesome space. You're going to have everybody at home jealous and also <laughs> full of ideas now because people are like, oh, this is stuff I can do with my gym. Man, you've got an awesome space. Um, I appreciate you. Uh, I'm super motivated to see you on the platform. Again, I'm just mad I'm not there to do color commentary for it because I wanted to be there on the call when you hit your PRs. And oh, uh, but I want been, you to get those PRs more than I want to be there live streaming and doing color commentary. So I want you to get those things, man. It, they, thank you, thank you. It's been a road, man. It's uh all but four years ago. It was it was a dream. Wow. wow. And and here here we are now. So wow. it's uh yeah, That's it's amazing. Been, it's, been, it's been a road. Well, my man, I want everybody to be able to follow you, keep up with your training. If they have any questions about any of the stuff that you have in there. Um, so how can people get in touch with you and also follow your training? Because you post your training all the time. Instagram is the only thing I really use. Uh, it's deadlifting Jesus, uh, deadlifting Jesus. Uh, DM me if you have any questions, uh, any ideas. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Love to talk gym stuff.